we're starting Excel 3.5 practice. So I've done step one, I've renamed this as PR Williams. And now I'm looking at step two. It says insert two new rows at the top of the worksheet. So one way to do it is I'm highlighting two rows. I'm gonna right click, say insert. So now I have two new rows at the top of the worksheet. Next step, it says to enter the following text. So A2, I'm supposed to type category, B2, item, C2, January, and then all the way in O2, I'm typing yearly total. And then it tells me to adjust that column width. So I'm gonna double click, and now I can see yearly total in that full cell. Next up, using the text in C2, so January, I'm gonna use that autofill, and I only wanna to go to December. And then adjust the column width so that the months fit. So I'm gonna select C through N columns and autofit those. Next, we're going to bold and center all of the headings in row two. So here are all of the rows, headings, bold and center those. Then it says type Williams family budget in A1. And then merge and center. So from A to O1, merge and center, bold, and it says to make it a 22 point font. And next, we need to complete the monthly values. So in a row for income number one and income number two, it says to drag those to December. And then it says to do the same for mortgage rent, homeowner's insurance, do that for car insurance. Do that for gym. Oh, sorry, car payments also. I'm going to keep going down. Find gym fees. Move that over all the way. Okay. And when I did that, you notice some of them went into these hashtags or pound signs. So I'm going to auto fit again so that I can see all the numbers. Use the totals tab to find the total for some O. So then I'm going to highlight these using the quick analysis. I'm going to find the totals and I'm doing some column. So in O, you'll see the columns. But it tells me to delete the ones for O. 7, O17, O24, O32, and O38. Now it says in C6, so let me go back up to C6, and I can actually zoom in a little bit. So C6, we need to do a sum formula. So equals sum, and we want to add the incomes, and for each month, so I'm going to drag that over. We do the similar step, and it gives me a list. So for total home, so I'm going to say equals sum, and I want it for all the things above it, and drag it across. Same for daily living expenses. So the thing you need to be careful about is when you do the sum formula, so let's look at transportation. So in C18, transportation expenses, I'm going to start with the line that says transportation and go down until above total. So it only adds up the transportation expenses for this row. Now entertainment expenses is going to be zero. But let's do it anyway, because maybe 
at some point they add those inf pieces of information. We want to have the formulas there ready for them. And then same with last one, personal expenses. There we go. So I'm on the next page of instructions. Use the sum function to calculate the yearly total personal expenses in O45. So we want to actually calculate both. And then it says format the numerical data in a row of three as currency. Right, so row three currency, but no decimals. And it says format all of the total rows in currency with no decimals. So then I'm going to have to, here's a total row. So let me select it. Currency, no decimals, and we want to do it as a total row. And so I clicked on total cells from the cell styles. If you don't have that, you can still do the borders, top and double bottom border, and it'll just show up black instead of a color. So let's go and do that for all of these. Now you might be thinking, isn't there a quick array? Yes, I can select multiple rows at a time. Just be careful to select the parts you want and then you can adjust them all at the same time. So then it says in apply the comma format to every other row. So then I'm going to use comma format, no decimals to all of the other rows. These are supposed to be fancy, no decimals. Now in C47, sorry, A47 first, I'm supposed to type total expenses. In C47, I'm going to do a formula that adds up together all of the expenses. So. Here's an expense, 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 expense. And this is just one of the many ways. I'm not going to click income because that's an income, not an expense. And then it says copy that formula across to 047. And then in A49, it says type net income. It says bold and indent this. So now in C49, I'm going to do a formula of total income. So that's this first C6 minus our total expenses. And then I'm going to drag that all the way across. So you'll notice some are in parentheses, some are not. All right? So the ones in parentheses are actually negative. So that means we spent, or the Williams family spent more than they earned. Let's look at next step. Format the data in rows 47 and 49. So let me select 47 and 49. We want those as currency, which they already are, no decimals. And then we want the top and double bottom. Okay, that's in accounting the total row. So in B50, we're going to type new apartment. And then in C50, we're going to type an if statement. So if parenthesis. So if C49 is less than or equal to zero, 
then it's going to type maybe. Oh, sorry, it's going to type no. And then if it's true, we'll type the word maybe. All right, so I check it. Well, they are spending more than they earn, so no. That makes sense. Now let's drag it all the way across. There we go. Now, let's check to see if your if statement worked correctly. So in row 50, if the cell is no, then we want a data bar. So I skipped a step. So let me do that step. It says use the quick analysis tools to add data bars. So I'm supposed to select C49 to N49. Or we can do the quick analysis, which is actually directions say. So data bars. And it's not supposed to be an O. So let me delete that one. It says to check if we did it correctly. So in row 50, anytime there's a no, it should be a red. So no red, no red, all the maybes are blues. Then we did it, our if statement correctly. Okay. So we want to make sure this prints on one page. So I'm going to come to the layout, scale to fit, fit on one page. I'm going to make this landscape. And let me print preview. So yep, everything's on one page. That looks good. Make sure you save it and then check it with your answers. And there we go.